Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. We're back. Uh, we just got stump splitting. Oh my god, how exciting. Uh, complete. Uh, mints and shops. We should have some science bags, right? Because we've been making them. Yeah, we got five. Um, I'm not actually sure what comes in it, a science bag. But we'll, we'll, we'll start that. Give me a, let me just do one of those. There. So the idea here is that I'm gonna like dig to the sea. But I don't know how realistic that is. It's not like a whole too many blocks, is it? It's a few. But it's not like a billion. It's like 50. And that's not actually that far, right? And I've dug out thousands of blocks in this game, so. I've dug out like 3,000 blocks. Easy. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how high this is, too. Like above water level? It's probably only like 10 blocks above water level. So maybe it's viable. I'm not sure how high fishermen can be above water level. What's up with happiness? Uh, um, 50% availability for candle. Uh, So what? Well, we have candles. We have a surplus of candles. Oh, we got some chicken meat. If only we had cooking. Then we could cook chicken. We have some candles. So can we raise the availability of candles? Let's put it to one. Though it turned orange. That can't be good. Let's turn it to one and see what happens. We may need to add more beekeepers. I'm not sure. I don't know the ratio of beekeepers to candles. I, I have a feeling none of that is like uh, publicly documented and the only way people know it is through like, you know, game science. I'm a game scientist. The mint chops are done. Mmm, mint chops. Uh... The stonemason who can make other kinds of blocks. Herb farming. Can use for dyes. Digging. That's a, you know, an actual guy to dig. Iron. Which can be used for iron swords, apparently. I didn't know you could make iron swords. Let's do iron smelting. Fuck yeah. It, we're, we're in the orange with food now. Oh, and there's a bunch of eggs. Eggs. But we can't cook anything, so... Let's get rid of this stuff here. Click, click. Thank you. Uh, happiness went to 15. We're gonna have to watch... Or check rather um, what's what's happening with candles after like a day or two. I don't know if we're actually producing enough of them. So we should have arrows in surplus, right? We do. We have a few bows too. Can we actually put down arrow guards? We can. Hmm. We have to think about that soon as well. We have 35 spaces. I'm pretty sure we'll still need to produce more food to support those 35 people. So what do you think? Maybe 10 of them on food related chores? And then like maybe 10 of them on guard related chores. 
Maybe 10 of them on production related chores. Um, maybe another linen guy, another tailor. It looks like we're about to break out into the open world here. But the question is, is how, how, how high will we be? Our little, our little, uh, escape route for our, uh, secret, uh, oh, it doesn't look like we're super high, but we're, we're up in the air. Free tree. Uh, I mean, we're still like 10 blocks up easy. Yeah. Let's dig down here, uh, however many blocks we can reach. And, and then dig over this many blocks and, and see where we are then. Cause I think, I think this is still like five or so more blocks above water level. How high can fishermen be above the water? Do they have to be like on the shore a foot above? Or can they be like, you know, 20 blocks, 30 blocks up from the water? Because if they can be 20 or 30 blocks, then this will work. We'll just eventually dig a channel to the sea and, and you know, they can fish down 20 blocks. I mean, in reality, you can fish pretty far away, right? We're down to dark stone down there. Oh. Let's dump that shit. Oh, we're uh, running pretty low on sling bullets. Let's give the old slingers some more ammo there. I think uh, I think we're getting some real zombies. I don't even know if we have the place for ten more guards, but if if like. Eight of those guards are day or, or night guards, and two are day guards. That might work. I feel like we really need to produce way more food, though, because like we're not even we're at two days of food in stockpile right now, which does not seem very impressive, does it? It doesn't. Is this water height or are we still too high? It looks like we're still too high. Oh, but not too, too high. Only a couple blocks now. Building a tunnel like this is so stupid. Um, but I did it anyways. How much, how much lower? Sand! Nice. Precious, precious sand. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not digging unnecessarily. That's for fucking sure. We should probably just take a, a left here. Um, nah, fuck it. It's not like it's hard. I beg your pardon. It's easy. I say that though. At the end of like five hours of playing this yesterday, my wrist was killing me. It really was. It's holding down the mouse button, I think. It's actually fairly stressful. Like, I feel like a click is is less stressful. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Run! So, all this to experiment. The information we don't know. How deep can a fisherman fish? Can he fish 20 blocks deep? 50. Is there some other way to import water that I don't know? 
Besides pumps, obviously, which don't get you fish. Can you just put a guy on land and he'll get fish magically? I don't know how fish work. I don't even know how fish work in real life. I like have a, a sense of impending doom with that water slowly creeping up behind me. How fish work in real life? How fish get pregnant? Oh god, the water's here. That scared the shit out of me. I may have peed myself a little bit, but only a little, I swear. How fish get pregnant? I haven't played Minecraft in a while, but I ha I do uh, keep an eye on like how people build. Because I like that game. And uh, I noticed that you can waterlog stairs and slabs now. So you can have like half uh, deep water, which is cool. Uh, you, you can't like bucket it, but you can you can you can uh, waterlog stuff. It's it's pretty neat. So you can make some neat little ponds and stuff. And I've I've seen some good like Minecraft fish ponds. Good stuff. Not that I'll ever do it, but you know. I like to know the option is there. Iron smelting is ready to complete. Giant leap for mankind. Achieve. So that requires, you know, some sort of product. That requires a product. Um. We're not making any iron products yet, obviously. We haven't put down any iron tools, right? Iron swords, military science bag. Is that the only way you can use a, an, is that the only use for an iron sword? I would like to wield an iron sword. I'm most concerned about this at this point, but let's go ahead and unlock that since we, we are making science bags. You're a science bag. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. How deep fish go? How fish get pregnant? This is ridiculous. At least it's not difficult to dig, but it is absurd. I don't actually think I'm there yet. I think I actually have to go quite a bit further. Yeah. Like another 50 blocks or something. Let's go up and look. I also have to go up 10 blocks, it looks like. That's a lot of a lot of digging. Not sure I'm I'm made to do that much digging. After my dig adventures in seven days to die, where I dug so much. So much digging. A lot of digging. Uh so it's like, it's a lot, it's a lot. I'd have to dig like an absurd amount more down. Cause that's it there, holy shit. That's like 20 blocks. And, oh, oh. Is this the only way to bring fish in? Or is there some magic way to get fish without water? Can I just put a fisherman down and it'll generate fish? I don't know. Twitch is telling me that my bitrate is unstable, but that's a load of shit. My bitrate has been hard locked at 6100. You can see. You can see, I haven't dropped a single frame this whole fucking time, Twitch. Why gotta be so fucking fascist? Um, my idea here is that if I if I dig this tunnel all the way down, and I put two fishermen up here, They'll be able to fish straight down 20 blocks or whatever, or 30. Can they do that? Can they fish down 30 blocks? Or is this all a massive waste of time? I do not know. Um, this is a lot of digging to do without knowing the answer. Uh, it really is. I think all the diggers would agree. Uh, I don't know.
don't know what to do. I don't know enough about fishermen. Let me try putting a fish down, a fisherman down, in the base where there's no water and see if he just generates fish out of nothing. Because I have a sneaking suspicion that fish might be able to be generated from nothing. Just saying. Mm. Well, I'll leave that there. Like, if I just put a fisherman in a cave, he'll come up with fish. What's up? What's up, um... What, clay guy? Oh, yeah, that's a jaunty belt. Up you go. So... What's up, chicken guys? Uh, food. Fish farmer. Fish farmer? Fish farmer? You can plant fish in the ground. That's what it is. Son of a bitch. Look, you can just make a fucking fish farm. God damn it. Well, alright. No big deal. I didn't dig that much. I think that tower is full. Let's try making a big 10 by 10 fish farm. Uh... Oh, did I choose the wrong tower? I believe it. No, no, no. Uh, man. There we go. Oh, you can't do 10 by 10. Can you do 5 by 10? No. All right, I guess I'm doing 4 by 10s. Oh, that's too big. Uh, remove. What about 3 by 10? And... 3 by 10 and a 4 by 10. That's three fish farmers. Um, and let's let's uh, let's get some jobbies. One, two, three. All right. So they're just gonna like plant fish. So that's the solution for if fish is if you're too far away from water, you can just plant fish. Apparently, I don't know if that's very realistic, but I'm not sure I'm playing Colony Survival for realism. So. Let's get some arrow guards. Some bow guards? Arrow guards. Bow regard. Um, I say, I say, do you, do you have any arrows, son? Oh. Guard. Nighttime bow guards. Uh, there. 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 And then, what, some daytime bogards? Um, I'll just next to these two positions. That's six more jobbies. Jobby! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. A lot of people to hire who don't produce food. Just saying. Uh, uh, this tower. So where are we at here? It honestly, looks like we could use more wheat and flour. Um, so let's do that. Let's dump this stuff. We're using a lot of uh, a lot of sling bullets. Oh, that reminds me. What? Uh, what's up, guys? Good morning. Good to see you today. Uh, there are no diseases in Bigonia. Uh, let's get this up to ten. Cause I need one too. Um. What was I thinking about? Oh, yeah. This, I don't have any of these yet. So let me put down a uh, splitter guy as well. We'll put him right in there. And let's hire him. And then I was thinking, oh, right, more farms. Uh, back here. This building? I think we're not... With the layers we've built, I don't think we've filled up this building. I could be wrong. 
I get confused because all the buildings look the same around here. Yeah, here we go. Wait a, wait a second. Really? This isn't a fish farm room? It is a fish. This is the fish farm room. They just haven't planted anything yet. Here we go. Uh, food. Wheat. Wheat. Wheat, 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 wheat. And then, um, another wheat guy. Here. Alright. And then, uh, what do you think? Two millers and one baker? Oh, and we'll probably need some water, too. Um, let's go to the little mill. Finally, when the little mill is old enough. Um, so let's, let's get two more grinding stones. Grindy! Grindy! No, no. And then one more bakery oven. Yeah. What's up, bakers? Shouldn't you guys be wearing like I don't know hats? Huh? Yes, I am the bread god. No, that's wax. I'm kind of less interested in that, to be honest with you. Um. So, interestingly enough, I raised candles to one. And candle availability is right now at 94% with no candles. Maybe the, maybe another baker here will fix that. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're caught up there and we're at 80 peeps. Um, but I, I suspect now we need some water. Because I think, um, well, we, we currently have a surplus of water, but we did add uh, capacity to the the production of um, the production of of, of of wheat. So let's let's just um, let's just extend this here. Uh, excuse me. Wait. Would you not walk right through me? Do you fucking mind? Why are you even over here? Uh, what? We'll add three more water jobbies. Add water jobbies. I don't think that's like the official name, but it should be fine. Um, we actually probably can't hire them right now. So we're gonna have to wait for that. Because we don't have enough stockpiled food. Uh, we're still working on masons. It's kind of weird that each population counts as a happiness negative. But if you saw the way they live here, all just like packed in together, it makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Since they all live sleeping in the same big room. Uh, bed after bed. It's a, it's a little bleak, just saying. I mean, if you lived in a bedroom that looked like this, you'd, you'd not want any more people in that bedroom either. Am I right, guys? Huh? Huh, honey guy? Tree guy? Eh? No? All right. Could be wrong. Lots of feathers, lots of eggs, lots of chicken legs that we're not using either of these yet uh, lots of olives can you eat olives can I eat these no it doesn't, it doesn't look like it I can't use the pits as sling bullets either huh so uh all right uh, we are producing fish now from the fish farmers WTF Uh, water, hmm. Oh, but we didn't hire the water guys, did we? Because we can't. We. How much more to recruit water guys? Um, it costs 43,000 to recruit one. So we can do one? 
Well, the next one's at 33, though. Two? This is at 31. We'll have to wait. We're almost to 100 guys. I'm sorry. 100 dudes. Because they clearly don't have a gender, and, and dudes are... Dude is genderless. What's up? Out of barley, he says. Are we really out of barley? Uh... Yeah, no. No, you liar. There's barley right there. This dude, you're a liar. You lie. Barley dude. Or, or chicken dude. And these chicken guys, they're pretty shady. Let's admit it. Like, they're pretty suspicious guys. Uh, okay, we got enough to hire the last jobby. Go. So now we're full of staff at 83 people. We have no excess food, but we should pick up food production now because we we've we've we added a wheat farm or two, I can't remember. And uh we added um water mills and baking. So hopefully the baking also takes care of the candle problem. We currently do have 100% availability for candles, so maybe we've solved that resource for now, at least. So we can't cook these until we have cooking, right? Olive oil, raw fish, and firewood. All of which we should have enough of. Um... Where is firewood? Fire. I got 120 firewood. Because cause we we did get a wood splitter. So that should have taken the load off of... Um... What are you saying? No bronze? Oh, we don't have any bronze ingots. Interesting. Are we low on tin? Yeah, we're low on tin. That's, that's linen. Yeah? Um, we only have one tin guy, right? We might need to put down another tin guy. I'm very worried about, like, imminent collapse from lack of balanced production. Uh, yeah, we only have this one tin spot. Uh, is there tin down here? Uh, doesn't really look like it. This is, like, the worst level. It's so far. It would be so far away, anyways. Let's um, let's go here and find another tin. Um, the wall is further back now, but let's uh, let's just dig here real quick. We should uncover a tin relatively quickly, right? Maybe. Who knew we'd need another tinman? Who knew that tin men are, um, you know, required for civilization? I guess the Cornish? That's clay and I think iron. Uh, this is, this is where I could really use a wizard, because I don't know much about this game, so I'm just having to, like, ad-lib everything. I've watched people play it before, and that's where I get my knowledge, and that's never a good way to know things about games, is it? You watch a, the wrong YouTuber or Twitch streamer, and, and you'll never learn anything about anything. And especially if they're talking about politics. Oh my god. There's some hardcore uh, political ignorance on Twitch being passed off as, like, insightful commentary. Also... Uh, I don't understand. How is it that people make content that just consists of watching other people's content and talking about it? Like, I suppose that's like what like sports are like in some way, but I awesome off often see clips get sent to me or I see on Reddit or whatever of people who are just watching other people's YouTube videos. And like I, I like to watch YouTube videos. But, um, I mean, can you, can you just make videos? Rintintin. 
the only, I think you need tin to make a cell phone. I think you do need tin to make a cell phone, probably. There's probably tin in the cell phone. There's everything is in the cell phone. I think there's cows in the cell phone and cans. Yeah. I don't actually think there's tin in tin cans. I think tin cans are actually made of steel. But don't quote me on that. I'm not a metal metallurgist. I'm also not a tin man. Um, I could be wrong. A tin man. I'm trying to uncover some tin here. So I can put a man on tin. Our man in Cornwall. Which used to be like the tin capital of the ancient world. There's some really interesting historical mining sites in Europe. Uh, one of them is at a place we call now, we call it Rio Tinto. But humans have been um, uh, mining there for 10,000 years or more. Uh, digging just like pits in the earth. It's in Spain. Uh, all sorts of metals. The Phoenicians and the ancient Greeks were familiar with it, even though it was thousands of miles away from their homes. Uh, I know someone. I know someone who will watch some videos as they play games. Now I do that as well. I, there's nothing weird about that. Uh, uh, like watch video game reviews and meme vida, or explanation for a plot of the game they just played. Well, I don't think that's weird. What I, I, I like, I'm not talking about the viewing consumption of watching it. I'm talking about like how people get away with original content that just consists of watching other people's YouTube videos. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I don't want to name any names, but there are people who like just like have entire shows, as it were, where they just watch other people's content. Original content. That seems weird. Because, like, the other person isn't getting any revenue from that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. It's not like I'm producing, like, original amazing content. But can you imagine if, like, someone was, like, um, just watching back my stream on their stream? And occasionally, like, talking back to the screen, as it were? And that was it? It'd be weird. Maybe I should do that with my own content. Maybe I should like tomorrow, I should stream this back and and comment on it. Uh, one who bans people for not donating every stream. That's it. I think stream donating is a little weird when you have subs. Like when you have the ability to get a sub, like you have, you're a, an affiliate or a partner. I think soliciting donations is strange. Um, if I had a sub button, I would encourage people to sub. Don't get me wrong. But I would never just be like, give me money outright. That's weird. Like, when you sub, you theoretically get something back for it, right? You're, you're subscribing to content. You're saying, hey, please continue making this content. But when you just, like, donate, I don't know. I mean, I have donated to streamers. Don't get me wrong. But generally speaking, I like to get a return. So I'll sub or... Or buy their t-shirt or whatever. I don't know. Twitch is a little strange. I, I don't know that I've, I'll have i ever fully adjust to it either. But YouTube's basically dead, right? YouTube's just a... Uh, YouTube is just a Twitch repository now. Yeah, I mean, charity. That's different. If people are like, Hey, please buy this Humble Bundle. Which helps my favorite charity. That's great. And there's nothing wrong with subs. Don't get me wrong. I, I think uh, having subs is a perfectly reasonable model. You know, we exchange money. Uh, you, uh, you get content. You know, that makes sense. Uh, it's it's the don donation pimping that's so weird. Especially when it's laid on top of subs. Like, if you didn't have subs, okay, I can understand that. You have, like, a little tip jar, sure. That makes sense. Where the fuck is the tin, man? Where the, where the fuck is the tin, man? I need some goddamn tin. I haven't found any. 
Lots of other stuff though. Hmm. What if I dig under this block? No. Uh, oh, I could I could dig a layer up there. Let's see about that. Um, we'll dig over here because there's there's tin on this layer. I know some streamers who have the donation button that, that goes to helping the stream equipment. Yeah. I mean, what do you need that you're not getting, though? Right? I mean, if you're already streaming. I guess, you know, I mean, it's nice that, you know, you could upgrade or get a new graphics card or something. But what are you doing with the sub money, then? Like, I mean, isn't isn't money from the sub going back into supporting your gaming and stuff? I don't know. That seems to be the idea to me. And it seems pretty straightforward, right? Like, if NBC, not NBC, if HBO gets money per subscriber... They use that money to like make more shows, buy new cameras, you know, stuff like that. Mm. Mm. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Meta Wizard, what is up, bud? Our wizard has arrived. What do you know? It should be like right here. Uh, where is the wizard? There he is. Are you dead, wizard? Uh, hey, 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 buddy. Every castle needs a wizard. Uh, minor. There. Minor. I had to put down another tin miner, but as you can see, we've we've grown in population a little bit. And technology. So for what it's worth, I only have about 20 more minutes uh, of stream time today. So we should have olive oil, fish, and firewood now. Yeah, olive oil, fish. Uh, oh, we even have an, one extra camera. Or candle, rather. Don't have much bronze. I, I think we need to add another smelt min. I'm going to do that. Are they gonna be able to walk there? I don't know. Let's put that there instead. Okay. I need to add another furnace dude. Which is uh over here. What's up? Uh so we go over here. And I already have a place in mind. It's right there. Put a furnace. Like that. And uh, hire a dude. 84? Or are you, are, you, are you screwing around, wizard? Because I'm not sure if I just created the debt or you did. The job debt. How did you die? Like, where were you standing or something? You, maybe you fell. Are you moving jobs? Are you moving jobs? Spawn seven blocks up. Hmm. Okay. He's not moving jobs. So let me hire another guy. Uh, recruits columnist. There you go. So now we're 85. Uh, let's look at. Okay, uh, so we're right now we're doing the science of cooking. We have barley. We don't have much wheat. We're gonna need um, a mint at some point. I don't know what you use it for, but we're gonna need one of them. So let me put one down. Let's put it in the in the second floor of the tower, maybe. I mean, it seems like a mint should be highly secure. Okay, you can put the mint uh, over here, and we'll put a crate under here. And uh, we'll dump that. 
Can we recruit a guy? Oh, it's very expensive right now. Yeah, because we don't have the candles. I can't, candles are made in the furnace, is that right? Thinking they're made in in the, in the ovens. Oh. No wax is made here. Uh, do we have a surplus of wax? A light one, yeah. So where the fuck the candles come from? Did they come directly from the beehive? That, that might be it. Oh shit. I almost got treed. Um, they come directly from the beehive. From oh, beehive. Um, I think candles wear crafting tables. All right, I think I get what you're saying, but uh, you set the limit on the beekeeper. Uh, so I think we need maybe a couple more beekeepers. I'm the beekeeper. Twisted beekeeper. Um, so let's see. Uh, 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 food. Beekeeper. Um, why? So like, a, like halves. I'm just trying to get the economy a little bit more stable. Uh, we'll see. All right. That's close enough to a crate. Um, are you, are you moving jobs or did we lose a guy? Oh no, no, no. It's, it's me again. Never mind. I forgot. I can I can now upgrade. To, oh, we're actually quite low on arrows already. Um, but we only have one envelman, don't we? Yeah. Let's let's add an anvil as well. Uh, no, that's not that's not an anvil. You silly bitch. That's an anvil. Um. Makes sense that we'd need to expand those jobs. So that would put us at 91. Uh, but we don't have any um, calories, so. I think we'll get calories if we just wait around. We're out of arrows. So we definitely need uh, anvil guys. I'll look at the front door, see how much worse it's got. What's, I mean, there's a lot of them. Oh, look how far this one made it. He's a ready too. Uh, and there are some making it fairly far for what it's worth. I think maybe when we get um, all the arrows up and going, we, we fucking die. You red bastard. Goddamn Kami. I had a disaster of a lunch uh, I made today. Uh, I didn't. I didn't eat lunch until late. But I made a, a, a fried goat cheese, like a, basically like a, like like a mozzarella stick or something like that, but goat cheese. 
And uh, I guess, you know, I'm not very good at that. Because <laughs> they ended up just basically being slightly fried piles of cheese with bread on them. Not that I'm complaining, because it was still fairly edible. Just kind of use some carrots and... Kind of used some carrots and, and and picked up the chunks of cheese. Yeah, I'm not super certain we need this many day guards, but I also don't object, so... We definitely need to fill in a few people, and we're at zero cows. Uh, why, why are we at zero calories? Do we have surplus anything? Eggs and eggs and chicken meat that we're not cooking. Hey, Iron Banana, how are you? Iron Banana Nana. Banana Nana. Is that like a banana's grandma? Uh, oh, uh, I, I did see I got a new follow there. Thanks, uh, Extra Pack X. Oh, that's very nice of you to follow me. I appreciate it. Every, every, every follower uh, eventually might push me towards um, whatever affiliate or whatever whatever gets you a sub button i mean you have to have average viewers too so it's not just followers but whatever thanks for following i do appreciate it so uh wheat i mean we have wheat coming in every few clicks there's flour there's water oh the flour is getting used pretty readily though I'd really like to make something of this um, chicken. Can't you cook chicken? Ah, we're waiting. We're waiting on the scientists. Hashtag organic. Hashtag hormone free. Hashtag grass fed. Did chickens eat grass? I thought chickens eat bugs. No, but I'm good. So you're saying it's not a banana's grandma. Banana grandma. Banana nana. Banana nana. Banana nana. It's like a ban... It's like a banana nana. A, a banana's grandma who flattens things. Because it's an iron, right? <laughs> it's a good name, though. I mean, no one's going to mess with somebody named Iron Banana Nana. They're going to be afraid. They're going to be like, holy shit. What if this banana nana is made of iron? Um, so it's very exciting. We're just kind of waiting to see if the numbers, the new populations are working out or not. Our happiness has gone down too. And I think that's gotta be based on candle availability, right? Yeah, we're down to 23%. Let's drop this back to half a candle a day because I think it was actually better when the expectations were lower, but also bread availability is real low. It has no meaning. But that's the point. Make my enemies fear me. I, I, I think you're going in the right direction with Iron Banana Nana. Uh, thank, thank you for following. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Um, and if I ever need anyone intimidated, I know who to go to. I'll just be like, check out Iron Banana Nana on Twitch. That, that dude, which is a non-gender specific term, will, will, uh... I mean, do you want an iron banana nana in you? No. Exactly. We have a hunger, and that's not good, but the calories do appear to be going up now. And th this part of the game, I think, is actually kind of difficult because the game's real opaque about what your, what your needs actually are. I know that we're now 83 arrows as well. But we haven't actually added the 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 forgeman. So where did all the extra food come from? We're not even cooking the fish. Look at this. We have all this raw food coming in that's not being converted, and I, like that's that's a problem. Obviously, we could be eating fish right now. Why is this stalled? Firewood, raw fish, and olive oil. Uh, we got olive oil. We got raw fish. Do we not have firewood? We got firewood.
Did, did we not have a scientist? Hello? He's not at his job. Th this is where this game needs a job board. And I need to be able to see scientist zero of one. Because it kind of looks like I don't have a scientist that's been frozen on that for a couple days. Maybe he starved to death? I can get a couple more jobbies, right? Ooh. It costs a lot, though. Let me, let me get one. And two. I can't. Ugh. So I'm down to five jobbies. Will one of them become... Is one of them a scientist? Let's see. Uh, I could take away a job or two, but I don't want to do that. What's up? Are you a scientist now? Nice. Nice. Where the fuck have you been? That, you know, that belt is really fetching. It's a good style. I like it. Do I have a belt? I don't think so. Day shift to night shift? Uh, we got enough arrows. That's gotta be enough arrows. We have mods where you can see a job list if you really want. Hmm. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. Uh, I haven't looked at any mods for this game because I, I don't know the vanilla well enough to know what I need. But that is a quality of life thing. Like a job board is a quality of life thing. It's like, how do I know where I need people or where too many people are or whatever? I need to see ratios other than just remember what I put down. That seems like a very useful vanilla thing. Not every, not everybody has a wizard, like this guy right here. This guy right here. Um, around to keep track of these things. I'd really like to make up these five guys before I call it a night. But we're so deep in the happiness shit. We're negative fifty-two. That's really sad. These look like some people are hungry. But we got bread and berries. Stockpile. And there's all this raw fish. That's what they call sushi in places other than Japan. Raw fish. Oh, but happiness went, went down or up, whatever you want to call it. If, if we can get the cook, but then we still need to hire more people. What can we drop? Um... We're probably safe dropping olives and uh, olives and loggers. And move, move, move. At least in the short term, we're probably okay dropping all of those guys. What else do we have a big surplus of? Copper. I don't want to do it, but I'm doing it. Ah! I could have died. Uh, alright. Uh, remove. Remove. Alright, so now, now we're back at job, jobby jobness. And if we give this a day... Maybe maybe things will look a little bit better. So I guess I, I guess I'll keep myself occupied at the front door or something. Wait, why have the beekeepers not built? Oh, they just they weren't they weren't free. They weren't free. They didn't have jobs. What's up, front door? Probably getting to the point where I could consider making this maze wider. Like uh, like have it go all the way out to the edge of the wall here. Not sure how much that would help. Do these guys up at the top shoot? Uh, let me go up there. I don't know. I I don't know what the range on uh, that's the wrong floor. Floor number two, women's lingerie. Um, here we go. Are you shooting? You are shooting. Are you shooting? You are shooting. Yeah. So, you would think you could shoot down real far, right? 
Your stream makes me sane. Uh, uh, makes me sane. Play Colony Survival again. I have 100%. I have the game 100% of the achievements. I think I get what you're saying. Uh, streams always make me want to play other games too. Like I'll be playing, you know, Football Manager, and I'll see somebody play Colony Survival, and I'll be like, ooh. Let me play that. I do not have 100% of the achievements. I've been getting there, but um, uh, this is probably the longest I've spent in any world, and I've played in here uh, with the help of our resident wizard who is somewhere. Um, I've played in um, this world for maybe 12 hours? No more. Surely not. Oh, I think I might have hit him. I'm really bad at hitting him. Can I switch over to a bow yet? I don't want to take their arrows. I don't need 12 of them. Surely the bow is like way better, right? No, it still has a wacky arc. Okay, whatever. How come they shoot straight, but I shoot all crooked? So you going, you going, yeah, that was the wizard. I, I thought it was a min. No, right. well, they're all dead. So we need to give them, are you changing jobs again, wizard? Why is there an unemployed guy? Did you fire somebody? Could drop stone guy. Good. Well, how come there's like an extra guy? Where did he come from? All right, somebody made a baby? Where did the extra man come from? I didn't hire him. Well, what are we short on? Bronze axes. But we should be building some of those today on the anvil. Uh... What do you think we, we should take? Or add on to it? We have one extra minute. We could add back the log guy. Because firewood is... If you run out of firewood, you're fucked, right? Let me add back a forester. A uh, forester. Forester. You're the man now, dog. And if you get your, that reference, you're really old. Not arable, not arable my ass. What do you mean not arable? The, the trees themselves are in the way of arable land? That's fucking BS. Not arable. I'll not arable you. Um, I, I, I gotta, I gotta get going. Um, I'm, we're gonna have to check about these these population figures tomorrow morning. Let me put down this forester before I forget. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so the trees make the land not arable. That's some BS. All right, so we got 86 guys. We're more or less population and food stable. And we'll be back tomorrow morning sometime. I don't know, 9, 10, something like that. Central time. Try to, try to clean up this absolute disaster. I don't know what's going wrong. Probably, probably the guy in charge is the problem. Hopefully, uh, uh, our wizard will join us again, and we'll do all sorts of uh, wizardly things like I don't know, kill kill hobbits. Is that what wizards do? I'm not sure. All right, I'll see you guys. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for following me if you followed, and thanks for watching.